This is our uh, static mixing machine with multiple dosing unit for uh, catalyzing or for coloring uh, base product with additives like pigment in case of coloring or uh, plasticizers or catalyst in case of catalyzation. Now a short explanation about uh, the few uh, principal uh, functions. Here you can see the HMI of the machine, the control uh, display. Here is shown the main page where you can see a graphic uh, representation of the, uh, the system. The system is composed by uh, a main unit, which is blue in this case, unit one, uh, which uh, does the uh, base product. And uh, you have uh, three uh, additives units, unit two, three, and four, which can be enabled or disabled at your convenience. In this case, uh, we are going to use uh, unit number three. So we push the uh, on off button here. On the right of the button appears a, a, a box where you can set the percentage in relation to the uh, main dosing unit. In this case, we are going to uh, dose 1,000 1, ml, one liter. Uh, as the uh, additive unit uh, uh, percentage is set to the fifth percent, five percent, the main dosing unit are going to dose 95 percent, which correspond to 950 ml, while the additive unit 50 ml. Uh, the system, uh, you can find the same number on each unit, unit number two, unit number three, which is the one we are going to use, and unit number four here. The pump, uh, which... Uh, The pump, which provides the product, uh, the additive to the dosing unit number three, is uh, actually connected. As we are going to do the uh, purge procedure, the, the product will uh, flow out from this uh, uh, set there. The additive is transparent, so it's not easy to see, but it's coming out. So when we see the product coming out, we can close the set. Then we can start uh, also the feeding of the main product from uh, the, the press in order to supply product to the main uh, uh, dosing unit. And uh, in this moment we can do also the purging of the uh, uh, outfit side of the the dosing unit number three in order to purge this uh, uh, part of the circuit. We have a, a tab here similar to the one that I shown uh, you before, it's this one. And I'm going to do the same uh, procedure that we did before in order to purge the second part uh, of the one and two. Okay, the product is uh, going out, it means that the air is, is purged. So now we can close the, the tap here. And we are ready to start. Of course, when uh, the doors are open, the machine cannot uh, uh, move uh, up and yes. down. There is a key here to uh, force the opening, uh, permit you the, to open the door with the machine uh, uh, armed, but uh, the machine cannot start. As you can see, the, the green light here is uh, off. This means that you cannot start the machine until you switch back on the key. So now I'm going to open this drum here. Yeah. You cannot feel the... <clears throat> I'm going to do some uh, manual uh, push, then we start uh, doing it automatically. In this moment, we are going to do one liter. We can also set two liters if we want. We are doing 5% of uh, dosing unit three uh, mm -hmm. additive. I push this button in order to 
uh, charge the uh, dosing units. Now the dosing units are ready. You can see that both are green, so we can push again this button to start the next part of the procedure. And the dosing units are dosing out the product. We can do another cycle by pushing it again, loading up the circuit, and then again this button in order to discharge the dosing unit. Now that we have seen that everything is working fine, we can set the automatic mode and push start to start the cycling. This is the electric hydraulic uh, power unit uh, with uh, two motors, uh, one electrical motors with motor with a uh, uh, hydraulic pump uh, into the reservoir that is here. The big one is uh, for the main product dosing unit, the small one is for the additives dosing units. In this case, three additives dosing units. As you can see, the stroke of the two dosing units are different, so that the speed of this one and this one is also different in order to start and to uh, finish the stroke at the same moment. Therefore, this one, uh, the speed of this one is faster, the speed of, of this one is uh, slower. And you can set it uh, by the HMI display depending on uh, the um, mixing percentage you set up. I can show you that we can set even a, a bigger percentage here. Now we have three, but we can do 12, for example. 12%, now this one is going to do uh, a lot more stroke. But both the system are going to start and stop at the same time. At uh, this moment that we have set up 12% uh, instead of 3% like before, you can see that uh, the speed of the two dosing units uh, are also on the contrary than before. This one, uh, the speed has a higher speed than uh, this one. But very important is that the stroke starts and stops at the same moment and for both. Start for both stop for both at the same moment but of course the speed of this one is in this case faster than this one as the stroke of this one is longer than this one so it depends on uh, the mixing percentage you set up uh, by the hmi display I can show you here that in the you have two flow meters checking out the if the 
additive uh, product that is flowing out from the dosing unit is actually uh, uh, the same as you have uh, set uh, the, the HMI display. And now we are going to uh, dose uh, out uh, 120 ml. So the flow meter checks if uh, uh, actually the product coming out is uh, 120. Uh, we have a little uh, uh, tolerance uh, of 10 percent here, and it checks uh, how much it coming out, uh, and he has uh, just measured 117.78 ml coming out from, uh, which is very close to 120 ml uh, uh, actually asked by the system. This is the percentage, this is the uh, volume me measured by the flow meter. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, for the moment uh, we stop and uh, any question we are uh, at your disposal.